Hey everyone, it's Megan here from Megan Makes Do, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one right and make one left in knitting. So making one right or left is a way to increase in your knitting. Um, it's almost like an invisible increase, and I've seen a lot in shawls that maybe have like a V in the center, and they keep increasing in the middle. It's also great for necklines, as well as sleeves when you're increasing on either side. Um, the term make one left and make one right is going to indicate what way the stitch is going to lean. So obviously if you're making one right, the stitch is going to lean to the right. If you're making make one left, it's going to lean to the left. So you can see how this would be useful in different shaping in like a garment or in a shawl. So let me go ahead and show you. I have just a tiny swatch that I've worked up in stocking it. So let's say that we're gonna increase on both sides of our swatch. So I knit two, and then when I'm ready to make one right, because I want it to lean to the right, on the right-hand side of my work, I'm gonna look for this little bar here. And to make one right, we want to bring our left needle from the back and pick up our bar and you'll see that we'll have like kind of like a long piece in the back and a short one in the front. So we know this shorter part, we want to go through that. It's gonna like be a little bit tight and a little bit tricky to get into. And then we're just going to knit, okay? Then we can continue knitting until we have two stitches left and I'll show you how to make one left. Okay, so now we have two stitches left and we want to make one left so that our stitch is leaning to the left-hand side of our work. So for make one right, we went in through the back, but for make one left, we're gonna take our left needle and again, with this bar right here, we're gonna put our needle in from the front to the back and now we have a long piece in the front and the shorter twisted piece in the back. So we're going to knit through that back shorter part and then we can continue with our last two stitches and we can see that we've made an extra stitch in here and this one is gonna lean towards the left and this one is going to lean towards the right. And that's how you make one left and make one right. Okay, so I just did another purl row, and so we're back on the right-hand side, and I just wanna point out and show you what I mean by left and right. So here is the stitch that we made by picking up a bar, and you can see that it kind of is a twisted stitch, and the part that's at the front is the bar that's leaning towards the right, and over here, where we did a make one left, here's our increased stitch, and this bar is leaning to the left. So just try to remember when you're making one left and making one right. If you're making one right, you're gonna go in through the back. If you're making one left, you're gonna go in through the front. And then you're gonna knit um, the opposite of how you inserted your hook. So for make one right, you go through the back and knit through the front. For make one left, you go in the front and you knit through the back. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you wanna give Make One Left and Make One Right a try, I'll put some links in the description below to some patterns that use that technique. But that's how you increase doing Make One Left and Make One Right in knitting.